In the capital had everything except, sadly, the right score. Thousands of fans made the trip to Wembley and saw their team dominated the FA Trophy final, but leave empty-handed. Tonight, the players are still expected to be given a rousing welcome home. Supporters from Southport made the trip south in style. It was the club's first visit to Wembley in its 117-year history, and fans, young, old and furry, were determined to enjoy the occasion. But beneath the colour and the carnival atmosphere was conviction that this was going to be their day. Wembley! We're the famous Southport FC! I will win at Wembley! 20 years after dropping out of the Football League, Southport looked by far the better side. Chances were created, but not taken. At the other end, keeper Billy Stewart only rarely seemed troubled by the opposition. But with 11 minutes to go, Cheltenham scored the only goal of the game. So, deep disappointment for the club management. We've had two or three uh, very good chances uh, we should have converted, and it wasn't to be, and then we've gone and conceded perhaps... Uh, we reflect on that goal because it was not a particularly good goal from our point of view. So, yeah, we're, we're disappointed, but equally, you know, we've got to be proud of what we've achieved here today. I thought the Southport supporters were magnificent. Uh, they made a hell of a lot of noise. I mean, you know, they were credit, they were credit to, to Southport, and they really got behind the lads. It was, it was, a, it was a fantastic day. It meant captain and man of the match Brian Butler was forced to suffer the upset of losing a Wembley final, and not for the first time. It doesn't get any easier. Uh, I was here two years ago with Northwich, that was difficult, this is just as difficult. It's a great achievement for, for the town and for the team, you know, to come here. You know, we've seen a tremendous amount of support today. Uh, it's up to the team to continue those performances and make sure that support comes week in, week out and gives us, our, gives us a realistic chance of becoming a football league club again. So the trophy ended up heading for Cheltenham rather than Merseyside. We'll back next year, I promise. Yet spirits were still high as the Southport squad eventually retired from the venue of legends, defeated but far from disgraced.